How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor, and you're about to watch week four of the Indigo League of Legends. Of course, I skipped week three because I was busy with finals and I was unable to battle that week. I will hopefully get a chance to battle my week three opponent at some point, but not at this time. So, my week four opponent is against McCallan or Mac, the coach of the Rustboro City Stoners. I'm packing a really powerful team this week because why not? Let's go offensive. So he, my opponent that is, has a Cabalion to start out. I'm going to start out with my Landmaster, the Zygarde. And the way he's playing Cabalion here, I immediately know that thing is going to go for Stealth Rocks. And let me tell you, Stealth Rocks are going to be a bang of my existence spell. So, knowing that, okay, I can go into my Magnum. And then I was expecting him to switch out, fearing a fire type move. So I switch out as well. But he goes for full switch on my Samurai. Which, that is unfortunate because it's super effective. I really, really should have, I, it, it was, at the count of the match, I was like, really, that just happened? And so I'm at low health, there's no point in switching out. So I end up leaving in Connor the Samurai to go down right here as uh, the Shaman here. Shaman goes for Giga Grain, and uh, that, that is the worst scenario I would be in when I'm using a Samurai ever. But that's okay. I go in to sting the B Grill, and we're going to go Mega. And I I actually go with a Poison Jab, which against Skarmori, that's not going to work out too well. So we have Mega B Grill. Going Mega, and yeah, six Poison Jab. I don't do any damage. And then I go for U-Turn. I feel like I'm playing really poorly this battle thus far, but later on, I I pay more attention to detail. And this turns out to be a great match in general. So, you know, stay tuned for that part of the match. So anyways, I go into my Magnum once again. to take an Iron Head. Which is great. This Magmartar Magnum is a Choice Scarf variant, so I will outspeed a lot of Pokemon. Here he goes into his Arcanine, and I go with a Fire Blast. I really should have expected that switch in, but I guess I wanted to play safe, but that's, that's neither here nor there. I really should have just expected. The, either the Arcanine or Charizard X, which Charizard X is that his Mega? Yes, it is. So his Mega will soon be revealed here real soon, but, um, wow, that is such a great sentence. But, you know, uh, Landmaster gets burned right here. I have a Lumberry. That's great. Now I have the momentum back on my side of the match because I force him out which I was expecting, and I go with a coil, because either my opponent expected an earthquake from Zygarde, or whatever we hit Arcanine super effective, I, I'm i going to go with a coil instead of attacking. And then he switches out again, expecting another attacking move, I don't know, but he goes for the Intimidate, which I guess that is a good play because I am setting up. I expected that, and so I go with another coil. So we have a plus two Zygarde ready to go, and now the momentum is back on my side. We are now going to go with a Stone Edge. It's boosted by coil. It's now 100% accurate. And we take out Arcanine, which is awesome. Now he goes into Shaman. I was like, okay, what is this shaman going to do to me? Because, I mean, I need grass type move that will not KO me unless it's a critical hit. 
he goes for a gathering gleam. I totally forgot that that thing gets that move. And that does a lot of damage. Fortunately, I am faster, so we're going to go with an outrage this time. And we take out Shaman. Which is great. Unfortunately for me, his Skarmory uh, resists my outrage. So it's not going to be very effective. And on top of that, he has the Rocky Helmet. So I take a lot of recoil from the Rocky Helmet. And then he finish, finishes me off with an Iron Head. With a critical hit not needed, but, you know, that's the game, you know. Uh, but anyway, so, <sighs> Magnum is back. And I'm choice scarf. I already told you that. So I was like, okay, is he going to stay in here or is he going to switch? I wasn't sure. So I just go for a fire blast and we hit Charizard. <sighs> so I, I guess I really should have gone for a Thunderbolt there because, because that would have been super effective to the Skarmory as well. But that's neither here nor there. Okay. I don't want to switch out because Stealthrass will kill kill me when I switch back in, obviously. So we're going to stay in, do some more chip damage to the Charizard X, and he's going to KO me right back with a Dragon Claw. Here is Siberium, and Siberium is my choice best BHM. I am just going to go for a Psychic, which boosted by a Nautic when you go last, or if your opponent switches, switches out, I'm gaining a 30% more power with that move. So we're going to KO that Cobalion, which is great. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Unfortunately, my opponent knows that I am locked in with Psychic against the Psychic type. I'm not going to do that, so we're going to switch out. And then Ridiculous goes for a Shadow Ball. Serpentine takes that pretty well. This particular superior, I got this from Free Agency, but this is my contrary superior. So that means that Leaf Storm will have the opposite effect of boosting my special attack instead of lowering. That's the best ability ever. And um, Trick Room is up. That is McAllen's mistake of the match because he didn't realize that I am actually faster in Trick Room. For those who are not aware, Trick Room is a move that will make slower Pokemon go first and faster Pokemon go last. And since BHM is faster than Reaclus in general, Trick Room is up, so I'll go first. So, and I, I barely barely take out Charizard X, and once again, there was a mistake. McAllen really should have gone for a for a Blitz. If he were for that move, he would lose his Charizard X in exchange for my BHM, but he didn't do that. So that means that BHM is going to be a huge factor in taking out McAllen's last Pokemon, Skarmory. I am locked in on my attacking moves, so we're going to switch out and sacrifice Sting, the B or the the B drill. Wow! And I am going to use my B ham to hopefully, hopefully, kill the Skarmory with a Thunderbolt because he goes for Iron Head. Will this get a flinch? No, I don't get flinched because if I got flinched from the Iron Head, he would have won the match. So that was a really, really close match there. The Trick Room and the uh, roosting of his Charizard X there kind of sealed the match for me because those were his mistakes throughout the match. I admit that I didn't play very well at the beginning, but as the match went on, I was able to bounce back and take the victory. So we beat the Rust Borough City Stoners and McAllen, uh, which is great. Week 5, I'm not sure who I'm facing, but hopefully we'll have a match on that real soon. And with that said, I hope you all enjoyed the Week 4 
battle. If you enjoy, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. I will see you all next time. All right, goodbye, trainers.